Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawei, joined by Gabby. Bañuelos. Bañuelos. We've arrived to Utah! The first name that popped into my head, I'm like, that is so wrong. I don't even know why that name is there. Yeah. I said, I was gonna say Gabby Nunez, and I'm like, that, no, what are you even thinking? Bañuelos. Yes. Yes. Mm. Shiny bathroom. Uh, and a char Kirk. <laughs> so, we're gonna look at brilliant Rajasthan tourism ad. You won't be able to wait to visit Rajasthan after watching this. I yes. believe you title. Let's check this out. This There's from... three different videos at least, I think. Okay. All combined. Awesome. So, this is from How To, the YouTube channel. Let's check it out. That's a... I know that actor. Do you? I don't know him personally, but I've seen him in a lot of stuff. Oh. Yeah. He was in the like wedding. He was in. Um, no. Oh, yeah. He was Jim in. Jim Sarb. Jim Sarb, yeah. He was also in um, Death in the Gunge. Yes, that's right. Hey! Photo photograph. Hey, guys! Get the bag! Hurry up, come on! Get the bag! It's an interesting way to start an ad yeah. is someone being stranded. In the desert? I know, I wouldn't want to be stranded in the desert. This guy, though, Jim Sarb, is such a good actor. That's his name, right? I did get it. Well, whether it's his name or not, he's a good actor. You know, those trees are incredible, though, in the middle of the desert. Whoa, look at the situation. Are you Rajasthan Kuch Esa Dika? Wow, we'll all fit. All of us. Wow, I didn't realize it was that long. <laughs> hey! Yay. Oh, wow. That's pretty dope. <laughs> it's like, you get stranded in the desert, and then you get picked up by two cool dudes with an extra long motorcycle. Is, is, it's got three wheels! Is, is the idea that people are just so cool in Rajasthan? I think so. Probably. You got an eclectic group here. I know. What y'all looking at? I know. Oh, that a fort? That's pretty. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, that's a cool shot. Is it pink? Wow. It's kind of pink. What? Well, that's just almost. This is beautiful. That's huge. That's crazier than um the Scotland Castle. Edinburgh. Edinburgh, yeah. I mean, just it's because of the so layout. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's huge. How do y'all get up there? Okay, this one convinced me to go. <laughs> How do y'all get up there? Look, oh, that's like a great wall. No, I wall. really want to Yeah, it is like a great yeah. wall. Look at that. Great wall of India. Holy crap. And they don't know the history behind that one. Wow. Oh, it doesn't stop. Did you get flown up there? Like, how did no. you get up there? Hike? That's, that's a long walk. Hmm. That would be cool to go on a tour right. with, a, with that as your tour guide. That, yeah. that guy, you know? I'm going to a temple, I think. I mean, that's definitely different than anything I've ever experienced. I would have fallen off. <laughs> come on, keep come up on, with the guys. dude. Look how different their bikes are, though. Is he barefoot? He's not barefoot, is he? Yeah, I think so. He just knows the terrain. Oh, he's got, he's wow. got some, like, his feet have been de definitely um, calloused for that terrain. Wow. Oh my. Holy, that's what? gorgeous. Wow. This is real life? Yeah. Um, it's That's often the case, though, isn't it? Where, like, oh, okay. This scary. He's a haunted he village. So, is he gonna be with you? Who's lucky to get Oh, he's like, is there a girl? <gasps> no. There she is. No. <laughs> <laughs> is it just another tourist? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's so totally what I would do. I think it's just another tourist. Yeah. Oh, yay! I want to go to Rajasthan now. 
she's in the whole I know, I know, I know. Yeah, she's. I got a no. photo with her. Did I just talk oh, really? Yeah. Money, money. Okay. What? I can't this is so cool. Yeah. My That's sisters awesome. would love to go there. Jim Sarb, the actor in the first one, the first time I ever saw him, he played a terrorist in Nirja. That was the first time I was ever exposed to, to his performance, his acting, and it's, like, it's just, he's really, really, really good. He's one of those underrated actors where you kind of see him pop up in different movies, and you're like, oh, it's him. This is a very interesting approach to getting you interested in visiting an area. Like the first one, they're stranded. Like mm -hmm. I would never, ever have, like if I was in a corporate room trying to come up with a way to get people intrigued with the area. That's the last idea I would come up with. And it's fascinating because it works. Well, I think you know? it's because generally, at least if you're in India, I think people know Rajasthan as being a very deserty area. So mm -hmm. you're just highlighting the geography and the terrain that you already know and are familiar with, but doing it in a cool and interesting new way, I think, where it's like, oh, okay, let's have them stranded and then have them picked up by some locals who are really interesting looking. Yeah. Like, isn't that a cool selling point? Being able to mix and mingle with people who Being actually Being one of the locals. Exactly. You know? Which, in my defense, like, whenever I travel, that's what I want to do. I want to be with the locals. I want to do what they're doing. What, what's the hype around here from a local? You want to go eat where the locals eat. You want to mm -hmm. hang out where they are and kind of see what their culture is like because I think a huge part of travel is just kind of having that new experience and meeting other people from that country and as well as other tourists as well and just having a great time overall and ride in a three-wheel motorcycle bike looking thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean that was, cool. was that was really cool and it didn't look that large when you were seeing it from the front that's, that's like a nice that's surprise. what they say about me <laughs> just kidding <laughs> you know, from, the fr from the front you looked thin and then I saw you sideways and I was like, oh my god, it's like a fish. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, little panda. <laughs> That's a gnarly ass mustache, though. So, the castle scene, though, that was bananas. That was like banana town, man, because that, that thing kept going, and it's like, yeah. it cut when it was still going. That's a crazy ass That's fort. That's incredible. You know? They're a whole kingdom, aren't they? Back in the day, when, the, when there were different kingdoms in the different regions, so you imagine, like, how rich this kingdom must have been. <laughs> Is someone hungry? <laughs> we're, we're all hungry, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I saw, I heard her stomach going. <laughs> I don't know if the microphone picked that no, up. No, I don't though. think it, I don't think it did. But you were saying about how yeah, it's just like you know, this was probably a fort for the border of the entire kingdom. You yeah. Know? When like you, you imagine what it must have been like back in the day when it was fully manned, like how many people were there and what it was like. I, I love historical stuff like that. Mm, me too. The third one where they're hiking. I feel like. That is so true of every beautiful scenic view that you can experience in life. Unless you have like a private helicopter taking you to that spot. Something's mm -hmm. up in my throat. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? Mm -hmm. Okay, I heard it. Tonight is probably back. <laughs> so when you ever like in Hawaii, for instance, it was a brutal hike to get to the top of this mountain. But once you're up there, like, whoa, I never want to come down off of here. The only leisure experience I've had with getting to a scenic view has been in stuff like, in cities where you can, you know, take an elevator up to the top, or in uh, Canada, north of Vancouver, the Sea to Sky gondola, mm -hmm. you took a gondola up to the top and it was like gorgeous looking. You didn't really have to hike. But other than that, every single time there's like a scenic view that I've experienced is always like this brutal like hike and you're like, when is a stop? And then it stops and you're like, oh my God! It it's like so it's like heaven up in this place, yeah. man. It's crazy. The last one, this is another example of how, it's like, this is fascinating to me, the way they're pitching this is like, you might experience something ghostly, but really it's just other tourists and right. stuff like that, or other locals. That would freak me out. That would never be a, a compelling reason for me, except in this case where it's like, but it's fun. It's like a fun thing, you know? Yeah, I feel like, you know, there's always that curiosity as well, because I remember we went to that one place in Delhi, which was supposed to be haunted. I forget what- They made everybody leave like around yeah, five o'clock. like really? you have to leave that spot before sunset because strange shit happens. Oh, and they wow. don't allow you to stay. For wow. con for context, it's the stairway in Three Idiots where Amir Khan is sitting on the stairs and yeah, he looks I back. I forget the name of the place. It was yeah. super cool though, but yeah. it's kind of fun when you go to Not places- PK, I said PK, right? Not Three Idiots. PK. Yeah. PK. Okay, but it's fun yes. you go to places. It's fun when you go to places and, and it's got a story behind it. Because I remember when I was a kid and my parents took us to the Tower of London and I was obsessed with Anne Boleyn. 
and there's, you know, legend has it, since she was executed there, you can see a headless Anne Boleyn just like wandering around. Oh my god! And as a kid, I was scared and fascinated at the same time because a part of me was like, oh my god, if I saw her, I would freak out. But another part of me was like, wouldn't it be so cool if I saw the ghost of Anne Boleyn? I'm still like that. I feel like that's how my whole family is. We're like, oh my gosh, I don't want anything to do with anything that has to do with haunting, but... We're so intrigued and it's like, I want to experience it. I want to see how it feels. Yeah. And then yeah. you're like, you experience it and you're like, yeah, I could have not. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> don't follow me home because that's what I've been told. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not inviting anything yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> the only experience like that that I've had that I was curious about was Bloody Mary. Mm. Or like, you say the ritual in front of the mirror. Did you ever say it three times? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No way. Mm -mm. No, no, nope, no. I don't nope, want to nope. take the chance. I still nope. want. <laughs> <laughs> La, La Llorona. You guys have heard of that one? Oh my god. No. Isn't no, the, no, no. Isn't that the nun horror movie? No, no, no. They made a no, movie about it. No, they made it. a movie about it's, it, but it's not the, a nun. It's the crying lady. For her children? Yeah. He's eagles. Mm. I got goosebumps. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh, please check out Gabby's YouTube channel and her um, social media. It's, it's all right there in the somewhere around us faces. Um, yeah, go check her out on, on her YouTube channel as I nervously make the rest of this outro. Uh, check out Star <laughs> Kirk on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Gabby Bañuelos. And Achara Kirk. Peace out.